So the first thing you're going to want to do is just get a pot and some water on it and just bring it to a boil on medium heat. And then you're going to get your pasta. I'm just using two kinds just because I had some of this left over. This is just a gluten free pasta. This one I think is corn based and then the other one I'm going to use is rice based. But yeah this is all 100% corn flour so it's gluten free. And I'm just going to put the rest of what I have of that in. And then this is the other brand I'm using. It's mixed with I think quinoa flour. Yeah it's white rice flour and quinoa flour. And I'm going to put the whole bag of that in. And then just give it a stir. So that it doesn't stick to the bottom or anything or stick together. And then we're going to get ready on our sauce. So while that's boiling. Um, I just use this thing that came with my blender to use the sauce. I'm going to use half a can of this whole tomatoes. It has no salt added. It's very important. Anything we do has to have no salt in it. And I'm just going to take the tomatoes out of it. I'm going to leave the juice just because that's going to make our sauce um, very like, I don't know, li liquidy. We don't want that. And then I'm going to use this tomato sauce to just add in. This again has no salt added. I'm going to use half of this. Um, I'm very excited that I found this because it's really hard in Canada to find sauce without salt in it, which is weird. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to use half of that. And then we're just going to add in some spices. I'm going to use garlic powder, um, onion powder, and thyme. I don't really have any exact measurements for this to put in like the description. I just honestly winged it. So just put in as much as you like or want. And I'm also going to add in some... Um, palm sugar, organic coconut sugar, and some herb mayo. I talk about this stuff all the time. It's a sodium free salt. It tastes like salt, but it has no sodium in it. So yeah, we're just gonna blend that all together. I'm not gonna blend it too much just cause I want it to kind of have like a pasta consist, like a pasta sauce consistency. So we don't want it too liquidy. So I'm just gonna pulse it a couple times. We'll see how many times I pulse it just to get it to like a I want it to like still be thick so yeah I'm only gonna pulse it a couple times and then you're gonna want to drain your pasta I did that and then I'm just gonna use the same bowl or same pot I mean that I boiled the pasta in and I'm just since it's already hot and then I'm just gonna warm up the sauce so we're just gonna pour it in there and then just give it a couple stirs get it warmed up and then once you're done that, I just put mine in some containers because I'm going to be bringing this for lunch. And I'm going to, I always like meal prep my things. And I'm just going to put my sauce on top of that one. And then in the second container, I'm just going to put my sauce in a separate container just so that when I do go to eat it, it's not soggy. Because I'm going to be eating this like soon. So the other one, I'm just going to put this sauce separately. And I'm going to put some cilantro on top of that. I think this is like a crucial step because this just adds so much flavor. It's so good. It's like Italiano type sauce. So yeah, this is just me putting the rest of the sauce in a separate container just so that when I do go to eat the other pasta, I can pour it on and it doesn't leave like the noodles all soggy and stuff. If you'd like, if you know you're not going to eat it the same day, then like do that. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Very simple. You can meal prep this and have it for the week. It is so good, I promise. And yeah, add any spices you want into it. Do whatever you like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.